Three days after this massive sinkhole opened in Lakeland, crews are still working to fill it in, and there's no timeline of when that process will be complete. This is Sky 10 video. This is from earlier today right here as crews try to fill this hole with sand. Part of nearby Scott Lake Road is still closed tonight, and people who live nearby have either left their homes or are prepared to at a moment's notice. 10 Tampa Bay's Han Deneen has been following this story since Friday and spoke with an expert about why Polk County is known for being part of Sinkhole Alley. I'm Dave and Carolina, this is a sinkhole map from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection with each of these yellow dots representing a reported sinkhole. And you can see the highest activity occurs in our region of the state, West Central Florida. The area of concern in the state of Florida is where the geology uh, consists of older limestone uh, that over time has an opportunity to dissolve and form cavities and caverns. Tony Randazzo, Professor Emeritus of Geological Sciences at the University of Florida, has studied sinkholes for four decades. While Hernando, Hillsborough, and Pasco counties are known as Florida's sinkhole alley, Randazzo says nearby Polk County, Lakeland specifically, is also a hot spot. So many of the lakes in uh, Polk County, uh, they're sinkhole lakes. They're older sinkholes that are filled with water and they have the potential to uh, unplug. He says this time of year we see sinkhole weather. It's a time when you have extensive periods of rainfall over a short period of time, and that could cause the triggering of sinkholes. And while the vast majority of homes are on safe, stable earth, he advises not to let testing fall through the cracks. And there are a number of different companies in the state that can provide <clears throat> testing now, in 2006, nearby Scott Lake was drained by a sinkhole left that way for years. Today, the Southwest Florida Water Management District tells me it's been monitoring the lake's water levels for any impacts from this sinkhole. It says it has not noted anything out of the ordinary, but adds it cannot make any predictions about the sinkhole's behavior or whether it could spread into Scott Lake. Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. The sinkhole is on private property and the responsibility of filling it falls on the shoulders of the developer that owns the property. It's unclear when the process of filling the hole will be completed.